Hello and welcome to Mantis Hub. Today we're going to talk to you about user access levels. When you create a user account, you generally allocate them an access level um, from the available options here within Mantis Hub. The access level you're giving users here is what we call the global access level. Now this access level is going to apply to system configuration, to settings relating to uh, permissions and thresholds um, for your users. Also, if you do nothing else, this defines their access level for any of your public projects. However, you can override this global access level with a specific project level access. And to do that, you would add the user to the project and define that new access level that you want. So here in our example, we've got Bran and he has viewer access level. Um, and that's going to apply to all these projects that are public. However, say for our project, I want to give him a different access level. I can assign him as a developer for our project and then add him. You can also do this functionality out of the manage projects tab and within the project configuration itself. Now the only exception here is administrators. Administrators can't have their access level changed for specific projects. Their access can't be downgraded. The only other time you would add users specifically to a project is if the project is private. You can see here the only users with global access are administrators. So the access levels within Mantis Hub were primarily designed for the software development process, but the concepts are, very, uh, are highly transferable, um, so they can be used across any type of issue tracking, project management system. Um, and the access levels are all hierarchical. Uh, that means that all of the higher levels inherit the functionality of the lower levels. Um, so we have here viewer, reporter, updater, developer, manager, and administrator. And most of these names are quite intuitive. And we'll go through now what each of those access levels can do. Okay, so this is the view for our, our user brand. Now, brand has a global access level of viewer, but we also specified a developer access level for another one of our projects. If we head into my project, we can see that the assigned to me has disappeared because that's only relevant for developers as we'll talk about a bit later. Um, so he, he's got a limited view here within the dashboard. If we go into a specific issue, you can see that all he can do really is just look at it. Uh, he can see all the details, he can see the activities and he can see the issue history, but he can take no action on that issue. You can also see here the report issue button over here. If you click on that, he has to specify a project and there's actually only one option for him, which is our project. And that's the project that we added him to with developer access. Okay, and this here is the view for our user Grey Worm. Now Grey Worm has reporter access to all projects. And you can see he does have this option to report issues over here and he can select it from any of the projects that we have. Uh, any private projects will not be showing on that list because we didn't um, add Grey Worm to any private project. Again, he doesn't have the assign to me option because as a reporter, he doesn't have access to handle issues. And if we go into the project itself, he has a couple more options here. He can monitor the issue and he can clone the issue because cloning the issue effectively uh, reports a new issue and that's what he has access to. He also has an option to add a note to the issue. Next up, we have our updater, our user Meister, who was given the updater ac access. Uh, he has that limited uh, dashboard view. He can report an issue um, for any of those projects. He has inherited all the reporter uh, access level permissions. And if we head into an issue here, we can see he's got another option here, which is to edit. He's also got the option now to add relationships, which our reporter didn't have previously. So you can go in there and update the priority, etc. Okay, next up we have our user Spider. Now Spider is a developer, so he has access to, again, a few more options. We can see now that uh, the assigned to me uh, filter in the dashboard is showing because as a developer, he now can be assigned issues. Uh, once you're a developer, you're considered you know, a team member and you're the one that's actually going to be uh, involved in fixing and progressing any issues reported. 
If we head into the issue, we can see there's quite a few more uh, options here. Uh, they're able to assign the ticket, they're able to change the status, um, as well as close it, delete it, move it. So there's quite a bit more functionality for the developer. Um, and of course, they inherit all the lower level access as well. Okay, and now we have our user Khaleesi. Now Khaleesi is a manager. Um, and so you can see straight away that she's got quite a couple more options here in the menu. Uh, the summary tab allows the managers to get some data and statistics on Mantis Hub issues. So that's available to managers. They also have access to this manage page which allows them to manage projects, tags, and some aspects of the configuration. So they have the ability to um, edit projects and add global categories. They don't have access to create projects, uh, but they, that's a config option that if you really want your managers to be able to do that, that you can turn on. Manage tags allows them to create delete tags. And within configuration, they're able to tweak thresholds and transitions, adjust email notifications, adjust the manage columns, and they're also able to upload a logo um, to be displayed in your Mantis Hub. Okay, and lastly, we have our administrator, which has full access to the system. Uh, the menu items are pretty much the same, but within the manage page, you'll see they've got quite a few more options here. Um, they're able to add custom fields, um, install plugins within Mantis Hub. Um, they're able to access information on the plan, um, download backups, and, and make changes to the billing. Um, within manage configuration, um, there's also a configuration report section which allows them to um, enter some configuration options to change settings within the system. Um, so that's all of the access levels. They can be tweaked somewhat, uh, the access and permissions through workflow thresholds and workflow transitions. So for example, say you don't want reporters to be able to add a note, um, you can scroll down to this option here and uncheck that box. Um, and you can do that for a specific project or for all projects across the board. So as well as through uh, workflow thresholds, administrators can make changes to access through configuration uh, options. Um, so some of the options, for example, is displaying of the change log and the roadmap. You can reduce that to be um, only visible to higher levels. Um, you can, as I mentioned before, you can allow managers to be able to create projects viewing private notes, viewing private issues. Uh, you can adjust those thresholds here as well. And that's it for access levels. Um, don't forget that you can always email us at support at mantishub.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to check out our knowledge base as well for a heap of great information. Thanks for listening.